Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. Let's go to episode 5-4 Guilt Evolves. Let's go. Epic music for the third video in a row. I am impressed. <laughs> Definitely not complaining. Got some action going on off camera. I would like to see that actually, but eh, I guess we're just supposed to imagine the scene and wow, we're already jumping into it. <laughs> Ah, to Tarty, just as I expected in the last part. Uh, so, wow, that, that, that's really jumping into it. <laughs> I, I'm a, a little lost for words here. I, I, it's been such a long time since we've jumped into an operation this quickly, but I'm not complaining either. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Why do I always suck at these diagonal cuts? I don't know. Anyway, you know how to get rid of Tatarty by now. You just do the old color matching shenanigans for their tumors, as ah, uh, as well as the Tatarty themselves. And we'll just do this, this, this. Heal up two. Raise the vitals before we unleash the hounds. And I think I'll wait till my yeah till that like regenerate so I'm gonna run it out here just for the fun of it there we go and there we go get that ready pick a color any color memorize the one that you, one color that you got and one other one in this case I got the yellow and green and then the purple that's how you get rid of the tarty I always start with the yellow and go to the green then to the purple be careful not to get them mixed up otherwise they will make those annoying colored tumors and you definitely do not want that at all because they lower the patient's vitals a lot so just generally avoid that and if you ever get the colors confused just wait until they make some of that poisonous gas there and then you'll be able to tell the colors apart without ah oh no 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 <laughs> i was having such a good run there well i already had that miss way at the beginning there so i guess it guess it doesn't really matter the ranking is gonna be blown anyway and wow they're done. <laughs> uh, oh wow, that, that was like my... Okay, and that one was a cool of all things. <laughs> that first one was like my worst stitch ever. It's, it's for some reason these diagonal ones that always get me. It just must be the way my hand works or something like that in terms of angle and twitching and you get the idea. Whatever, successful operation. That was ridiculously easy. I figured as much. <laughs> Even though it was easy and I did badly on it according to the game rank, it was still fun. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Yeah, they haven't had quite the amount of training with guilt as we've had, that's for sure. I hope they sent them like video or something. Maybe they should like send over my YouTube videos or something like that. Help them get rid of the uh, guilt infestation, I should say the guilt outbreak that's going around these cities. I think that would be very helpful for these people. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. They are actually restricting our treatments because our... Uh, treatments are technically, you know, untested for the mass public, and yeah, that's definitely not a good thing at all. Especially, you know, when we're dealing with something that, you know, we have been able to treat before with these quote-unquote experimental techniques. They've gone far beyond just the term experimental by now. I mean, you can tell they work. <laughs> they should be able to tell that by now. And they should also, I mean, if the people, you know, that are getting infected by this guilt are gonna die anyway, what do they have to lose, right? I mean, I would take an experimental thing that has been working, at least, just to keep the patients alive longer, you know, give them more time than to just let them sit and die. And uh, all of a sudden we're on a plane. <laughs> Yeah, I know, I was paying attention. <laughs> I'm just joking around here, just that, you know, the whole cut thing there. It's a time transition thingamabob. Oh, well, that's pretty nice, actually. Always nice to save a little time. 
Oh, they did the send video out. <laughs> I completely forgot they did that. <laughs> that was an awesome coincidence, I have to say. <laughs> Maybe it is my videos. It was my videos from the future. <laughs> Next operation, I believe it's a story sequence. Yeah, it's infiltration. So let's just get to that right away, I suppose. Yep. No skippage. It's quiet and dark. Crickets are, for some reason, chirping inside this building. <laughs> nah, they're probably like near the outside window or something like that and they can just hear the crickets. That is true. Uh, I've got no commentary for this. There, there's like no potential for witty remarks. <laughs> Oh no. Uh oh. Do not steal my lunch! Uh oh. Yeah, if they've got our lunch, we gotta get them! Alright, call security, police, anyone, just keep them in here. What? <laughs> it appears Angie's not as defenseless as she seems. <laughs> I don't think we should mess with her. Although she does give off a uh, Navi vibe at times, you know, from Zelda, in that she states the obvious. Uh oh. Someone's breaking through the glass. Oh boy. Who is it? Catch him. Oh my god. Hey, that shadowed head looks familiar. It's actually more of the bottom part of the shadowed head with the goatee. Does she know him? Perhaps. Perhaps not. Oh. Dang it. Looks like we're gonna have to order in. I call Pizza Hut. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's probably a good idea. Who's gonna order pizza though? <laughs> Impressive. Uh, what? Huh? What's going on with her? Yeah, in case you didn't realize. She's got a bug, and this is actually a new kind of bug, a new kind of guilt, which we will be doing now. Got plenty of time in this part to do so. Uh, this is a pretty interesting guilt, actually, that she's got. Uh, it's... Oh, maybe they shot her or something like that. Maybe that was the gun. <clears throat> yeah, it's, I, I already said that, thank you. <laughs> Victor's always on it, he's probably gonna cough up a bunch of swear words on it as well. Which I don't mind if it, you know, helps. As I said, it helped with the Pempty. And So this is Paraskevi, or Paraskevi, whatever you want to call it. I'm never sure of that pronunciations. <laughs> but it doesn't matter, it's bad, we gotta get rid of it. Let's just leave it at that. 97% match, uh-oh. And here comes the swear words. <laughs> Yeah, he's gonna sort of explain it as we go. It's it's a thing that you have to take care of before it reaches the heart, otherwise it'll be a instant kill. There's actually three stages to this. You don't want it to burrow through the organs. The trick to preventing it from burrowing into the organs is just to keep lasering its tail. And uh, you want to have as few pieces out onto... Well, I'll show you as we go. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm getting into things before I even show you it. And we've got some new cut patterns here. It looks pretty even, actually. It's, uh, it's a and I'd like to, yeah. Now get off your laser and get ready to laser its tail. Just like that. There we go. See, she'll mention that it stopped moving. That's our key to cut it with the scalpel. Now it's going to split into two pieces. Now it'll keep splitting as you keep cutting up like that. And you have to get it into small enough pieces because apparently it's fibrous. And if we pull it out as it is, it will bleed. I mean, it'll make her bleed profusely, and that is not going to be good, so that's why we have to chop it up. But every time we cut it in half, it creates two, I mean, the pieces that get cut in half create new lacerations like this. And just suture them up like that, and then stun the new pieces, raise the vitals, cuts, suture, stun, and that's the Paraskevi in a nutshell. And I believe there's one more cut for ones like that. And once you get them small enough, like this one right here, just grab them and put them into the tray. Like, no problem. And you'll notice the smaller they get, the faster they go as well. Now, you'll notice that they sometimes swirl around in a circle. Um, well, I should say in a very tight circle. That's them trying to drill into the organ. And that's the thing that I said that isn't, that this operation is like in different stages. So what happens is that if it burrows, it'll, you'll end up going to the next stage. Now you can do this up to two times, but the, oh like this one's gonna burrow there. But the further it gets in, the higher chance it has of getting to the heart, which as I said will be an instant kill. Uh, this operation is entirely about uh, control, so do not like rush things, just keep everything at your own pace. And Paraskevi, Paraskevi, whatever, will be an easy guilt to take care of. And no, 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 do not. Do not burrow into the organ. I would appreciate if you wouldn't burrow into the organ. Thank you. <laughs> it would be funny if I could get this on this uh, first layer here without it even getting to the next stage. But I'd, I'd kind of like to show you what it's like to... Oh, no! Didn't mean to do that, I only wanted to cut one of those. See, this is why what I meant about that you don't want to have too many pieces roaming around here at once, because it also layers them on top of each other, which makes it harder to grab them, because you can't grab them when they are in large, larger pieces, because what'll happen is that you'll end up grabbing uh, a larger piece that you can't grab, uh, by accident, and then you'll get, end up getting a miss. So that's another thing, uh, another reason why you don't want them to randomly roam around and have a lot of pieces around on their own. And just, I think I'm, I'm doing pretty well here. <laughs> I, I haven't uh, done this operation in ages, and I'm doing extremely well. <laughs> I I am extremely surprised by that. And this is the last two. Oh my. Goodness, I did it without any burrow, anyone burrow, burrowing into another area, excuse me. I am flabbergasted by that. Even when I was playing at my best, when I was practicing this game like crazy, that would rarely, if ever, happen. Well, uh, there we go. <laughs> I am very, very pleased by that. And that's, uh, Paraskevi in a nutshell. Yippers! Delightful! I have a good feeling that I'm gonna get a good rank! Then again, every time I say that, it's a horrendous rank, so maybe I shouldn't say that. Okay, I'm gonna say it's a bad rank, just so it's gonna be good. Yeah! How do you like them apples? <laughs> thank you, thank you. I bow to myself, I bow to my skills. <laughs> yeah, that, that was an incredibly good run. That couldn't have gone better, really. <sighs> so it looks like he's seen that P Professor Blackwell, so that's the mysterious guy that uh, Naomi met up with on Z4. Kenneth Blackwell. So she definitely knew him. He disappeared a whopping 13 years ago leaving his wife and daughter behind, and she's his daughter. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> well, I think that's all I'm going to be doing in this part. 
I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.